Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This is a video response to the previous video I put out on the Minecraft launcher that caused a lot of confusion as to how to install mods. Now, the video that I made showed you all the different features in the launcher and how to register mods with the launcher itself so you could use it to run them. Now this caused confusion because people thought I was showing them how to install it and the instructions weren't the clearest they could have been so I thought that I would do this video again and address how to both install mods and register them with the new launcher as well. So what's important about this new launcher is that you can actually register different jar files to it. So previously you only had one jar file and you would update it to the latest one or you would modify it to play mods. Whereas what you can do in this one is register different jar files. So you can see here that there's lots of different jar files that I have on my computer that are linked to this program. So I can edit the default profile. I can select them here and then that means that when I go and click play it's going to use the one that I've selected there. So by registering a new jar file to the program it means when you want to um, play a different mod you can either select a different profile or you can simply edit the default one and select the different mod that you want to play. So I'm going to show you how to install a mod and how to register one as well. So now I'm going to show you how to install a mod and register it to the launcher. I'm going to be installing Optifine which I've already downloaded from the website and bear in mind that it's not available for 1.6.1 yet but it should be soon. So anyway we go to the top here and we type in percent app data like this and then percent again and we press enter and that brings up this list of folders. We want to click on the top one which should be .minecraft and then when we go in here we want to go down to versions. So when we open up this folder you'll see that I have lots of different jar files. Each one of these represents a different jar file and the mod that I have is for 1.5.2. Now you might not have this folder because you've just installed the launcher uh, in which case you'll probably only have 1.6 or 1.6.1 and I don't actually know of a way to get hold of the 1.5.2 um, unless you have a backup of it. So if you go into the 1.5.2 folder what you want to do is copy both of these files here. So the first one is the .jar file, this is basically the game and the second one is the .json file, this is what registers it to the launcher. So what we're going to do is make a copy of both of these files and we're going to put it in a new folder in the versions folder. So if we go down to the bottom here you can see I've already created one called Optifine and if we open that you can see that I've already downloaded the mod as well. So in here is where we're going to paste those two files and the first thing that we need to do is rename them. So once you've renamed the file what you need to do is open this one first of all in a notepad. So I have one already open that means I can drag and drop the file. If you can't do that you go file open and navigate to the same folder and open it that way and you can see there's a load of text here. The only thing that you actually need to change is this bit right here. So where it says 1.5.2, that would be the name of where we got the jar file from. So if you got it from a different folder like 1.6, that's what it will say here. But basically it's the second thing after ID. So we go here and we change this to Optifine. This is what it's going to appear like in the launcher. So we do that, we press Control S, or we can go to File, Save, and then we've saved that. So we've now modified that file. Now the second thing that we need to do is install the mod to the optifine.jar. So you can do this with a program called WinRAR or you can do it with 7-zip and if you haven't done this before these are basically um, a zipped up file so it's compressed and there's other files inside this one. So I have 7-zip in installed <laughs> and what I need to do is go to open archive. So you can see over here it's showing us all the files that are in there and that's great. What we now need to do is do the same thing with the optifine.jar. So we're going to right click 7-zip open archive because it is also an archive of files and you can see now here we have all of the Minecraft files that make the game run. So if we have both of these open on the screen at the same time what I can now do is copy the files from this one on the right which is the Optifine mod and I can put it into the game on the left. So we drag and drop like that and then we click on yes and it's copied all of those files into there and now what we do is delete this folder here called MetaInf so I'm pressing delete on the keyboard we're going to confirm that and now this jar has been modded. So to recap what we've done there, we've made a copy of a 1.5.2 jar file and then we've copied it to a new folder, we've renamed it to the same name as the folder, we've also copied the JSON file and we've edited it and that one is going to register this jar file with the launcher and then we've modified the jar file as well. So now this is 1.5.2 with the Optifine installed 
and when we reload our launcher we're going to be able to see that and load the game with Optify. So now I've loaded the launcher back up again what we're going to do is click on edit profile over here on the side and then we're going to select release Optifine we're going to save our profile and now when we click play we're going to be launching the game with Optifine mod installed so what we've done there again is we've registered the mod to our list of different jar files here and this is good because it means we can keep our different mods separate from one another and then we don't have to swap jar files it can all be done by the program and of course you can also create profiles like for example we could create Optifine here and we could tell it to use Optifine there and we could save that profile and it means that when we select Optifine over here then it's automatically going to be using the mod that we've registered and installed. So my recording software cut me out there I literally finished my sentence, I was just going to say that we're selecting the mod that we've just registered and installed with the program. And that is actually it for this tutorial, I hope it's been helpful. If it hasn't, leave a comment and hopefully I'll be able to get back to you and help you if you're having trouble making this work. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and help support the channel. And if you want to watch some more of my videos, there are links on the screen and in the description box. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.